Shalom. All praises go to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, the Baal Son to the Elder Apostles, that's a great millstone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Now, this brother over here, Gabadiam of T M H, he said that he asked me a question. Shalom, um, something, something. yeah. I, uh, Shalom, I, I watch your videos. I you be on point, uh, Lord willing, of course. <laughs> Lord willing, I'll be on point. You know, pr pray for that. Uh, question: I heard the Akiam say that Eve is Adam's sister. You mind edifying the church? Which uh, he he actually does know what the word church means, which means in, uh, to call out uh, the assembly of the brothers and stuff like that. When the chance presents itself, Shalom. So I was like, yeah, it's, uh, it's it was uh, yesterday. By the way, this was 12 hours ago, and now I'm about to do the video for the Akiah, for the, for the Ak, for the Akiah, right? Now it says, Genesis chapter 2, verse 23, and Adam gave names to all cattle and to all, uh, and to, to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helpmeet for him. And Yahweh the power... Lord God, caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And now this is symbolic. And the rib which the Lord Yahweh, which Yahweh the power, had taken from a man, made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. Now if this was a fact, the man would be missing one rib. So this goes into symbolism, right? Now it says, and, and Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She is called, I mean, she call, She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Now, the word the, 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 the said that this, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. It means actually that she was a family member of him. Because there were multiple people up on the planet Earth. And they was called Adam. Right? As you can see here. Genesis 5 and 1. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that Yahweh created man. In the likeness of the Most High. In the likeness of the power made he him. Right. Male and female created he them and bless them and their name. What? And called their name Adam. So it was the male and female was who was called Adam. So Adam is just not just one man. It's actually a group of people. In the day when they were created. So it's a whole group of people that was called Adam. But then you have Adam, Adam, the man Adam. And his bloodline. Yeah, it's like, um, I don't know why I'm yawning. It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But yeah, going on here. Second Samuel chapter 5, verse 1. Then came, uh, I'll show you that this means, uh, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This is now, an, um, what do you call that thing? I'll show you what this actually means. Why he said this and what that what that means. Then of Samuel's Second uh, Samuel's five and one. Then came all the tribes of Israel to David, unto Hebron, and spake, saying, "Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh," meaning we are of the same family. You can read the whole chapter if you want to, but that's what the people said. The tribes of Israel came unto David unto in Hebron and spake, saying, Behold, we are thy bones and thy flesh. Right? Genesis 27 and 11. And Jacob kissed Rachel and lifted up his voice and wept. He cried. And Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's brother, meaning his nephew. And because Laban... Laban is the, let me get that. Laban is the, hey, it says it right here. 
I wanted to get that in Genesis 25 and 25. I wanted to get that. But it says here too. It says in verse 12. And Jacob told Rachel that he, Jacob, was her father's brother, Laban. Laban is the father of Rachel. And therefore, he is called his brother. Because it's the same thing that happened with... Um, damn, the telephone is going. I can't stand up right now. Oh, man. Um... What was I thinking? Lot's brother. Verse. Okay, Genesis 14, right? Okay, check this out. Uh, let me just do it here, man. Genesis 14. 14 and 20. Okay, Genesis 14 and 12. And they took Lot, Abraham's brother's son, which means his nephew, who dwelt in Sodom and his goods and departed. Right? But if you go to verse 20, let me just click on this, man. Okay, I just read verse 12, but if you read verse 16, okay, let me read it again. Genesis 12, 14 and 12. And they took Lot, Abraham's brother's son, which is which would make Lot his nephew, who dwelt in Sodom and his goods and departed. Verse 16 now. And he brought back all the goods and also brought again his brother Lot and his goods and the women also and the people. So now you would get confused like, wait a minute. It's, it, it, first it says here is his nephew and now it says here is his brother. But then you got to think about it. Um, every Jacob descendant is actually my brother. Are they family members? Yes, they are. Is every so-called black female, I mean, slave, I mean, like, real Jacob descendants female, you know, with the confusion of faces, whatever. Is she still my sister? Well, she is actually my sister. Is she family? She, she, she's family. But is she of my, uh, is she the sister of my mother and my father? No, she's not. But she is the sister of our ancestors, the 12 tribes. Uh, that is the way that she is sisters. And that's the way that we're brothers. Like a Jacob descendant in uh, there, here. It's my brother. These are brothers. These are my brothers. From another father and another mother, but we are of the same nation. Those are brothers. So that's why Lot is his brother. But if you go technically, like with the bloodline and stuff like that, it's his little nephew. Right, so it says here that's why Jacob said, Your father is my brother because it was his uncle through his mother's side, which is uh, uh, Isaac and Rebecca. Yeah, check this out. And Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's brother and that he was Rebecca's son, which is her aunt. And she ran and told her father, which is his uncle. And it came to pass. When Laban heard the tidings, tidings is good news, of Jacob's, uh, Jacob, his sister, son, you see, that he ran to meet him and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house. And he told Laban all this, uh, all these things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm tired. I don't know why. And Laban said unto him, Surely thou art my bone and my flesh. And he abode with him the space of a month. And it is according to the book of uh, Leviticus chapter 18. Let me double check that quick. If you read the book of Leviticus chapter 18, my, my Bible says, an, um, um, it says unlawful sexual relations. And if you read that whole chapter, then you would know what is lawful and what is not lawful concerning sexual relationships. And if you read everything, you will come across, you will not come across that you cannot have uh, babies with your, with your cousin. You can have children with your cousin. You know? So, yeah. That's why it happens uh, a lot. Not, not a lot, but it happened in the, in the scriptures. Right? So, going on. Because if you get technically technical um we're all actually related 
every Jacob descendant is related to one another via the 12 tribes, the 12 patriots, the 12 sons of Jacob. Right? Exodus, uh, oh, that goes into nakedness, but then, um, yeah, so that's it. It's his cousin. Now, yeah, I could just stop it right there. I hope that was enough, but I'll go on a little bit because I want to also talk about the nakedness, right? Um, because it is said that then uh, they were naked. Wait, let me get that. They were naked and that they had no clothing on. That's not talking about they having no clothing on. It says here. Um, no, it says therefore. Wait, uh, Genesis chapter two, verse twenty-five, and they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Now, Genesis 3 and 7. Oh, here is it actually. <laughs> Genesis 3 and 7 now. And the eyes of them were, uh, eyes of them both were opened, and they knew not that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Now, you would think that, then, uh, that they was naked because Esau teaches this and a picture is uh, worth a thousand words then then what about a movie <laughs> that's a couple of million a couple of million words but it's actually talking about then, uh, clo um, the the truth the knowledge wisdom and understanding that uh, uh, let me show you now the word apron aprons if you go to genesis and uh, 3 and 7 in the in the blue letter bible then you check out the word h 2290 which is hebrew 22 and 90 Hear it again. Hear this again. Hebrew 22 and 90, which says, Chagah, um, Chagawah, Chagawah. It's a uh, Chagawah, right? Which is girdle, belt, girdle, loin covering, belt, loin, cloth, cloth, armor. So it's basically your armor. Basically, it's, it's clothing, right? So going back over here, over here, it says they made themselves aprons. They made themselves uh, basically armor. Now it says this, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, meaning an, um, counsel is uh, wise advice, that take advice and stuff like that, especially given formal advice, wise advice, basically, to give advice to someone. So it says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take advice, wise counsel, but not of me. So we was not taking advice of the Lord. We wasn't listening to the Lord. That is what got us being naked. Going on. And that cover with a covering, yeah, with clothing, because they covered themselves with false philosophies, right? But not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. So when you're naked, you're adding sin unto sin. It says it, um, where is it? Wait, wait, let me, it says it here. Joshua 23 and 6. Be ye dead, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm looking for the one where it says that, then, um, they were made naked. Oh, who was there? Genesis, Exodus uh, 30. I didn't even see it. Good. It's lucky about that. Exodus 32 and 25. And when Moses saw that the people were naked, for Aaron had made them naked unto their shame among their enemies. How did, he, did Aaron make them naked? He made them a golden calf and then they started worshiping it. So that's how you become naked. You're being exposed, basically. But not than, uh, with the flesh. Yeah, right? So it says, basically all your secrets is out there. And you're not covered with the covering of your Basha Me'ashai. Jeremiah 2 and 21. Yet I had planted thee a noble vine. And by the way, we were also trees. So this also goes in the thing of the tree. I'm going to put a link in the description box because I did a video about the tree. That... The trees in the Garden of Eden were actually people. Because we are here seen as a vine, noble vine. 
I actually give all the examples in the other video, so yeah, you can check that out if you want to. Going on, Woli a right seed, meaning we're aware of seed that you plant, and the vine tree stuff like that. How then are thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? Now the strange vine is talking about these heathen nations. Degenerate is unlike your ancestors. Degenerate. Having lost the physical, mental, or moral qualities concerned, normal, and desirable, showing evidence of decline. We have declined from our ancestry, their, their ways. That's why the Lord said in the book of Malachi chapter 4, He said, when, when He comes back, when Elijah comes back, he shall turn the hearts of uh, the, the sons to, unto the fathers. We're going to be like our fathers again, man. Having this power. Hey, man. Think about it, player. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm getting all up in it. I'm all getting routed and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, 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 it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> think about it. When I say play, I don't mean like playing bitches. I mean, I mean like, here. Nah, uh, yeah, you could. Uh, you, it's a player. <laughs> That's what I said. Joshua 23 and 10. One man of you shall chase a thousand. For the Lord your power, he it is that fighteth for you, as he had promised you. So, we're going to be like this again, man. Only stronger than this, by the way, because this time we're going to have superpower. Uh, we already had superpowers, but we're going to have spiritual power, like, you know, making it rain, fire from above and stuff like that we not every israelite had that only elisha elijah and a few other prophets if i'm correct but uh, the majority of us could not do that it was like a small percentage man i'm telling you real small right so it says malachi 4 and um, 5 and behold i will send you elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the lord and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers lest i come and smite the earth with a curse so the child the heart of the child meaning the mind because your heart is just a muscle that pumps blood and your mind is the one that actually thinks so with uh, by the way in the hebrew it says lab which is which is mind and um yeah, so the heart of the children to their fathers. Yeah, we're going to turn back to the ways of our fathers, which is trying to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability according to how Moses has put it in book form for us so that we can follow it, right? So we now we are a degenerate plant. We're not like our ancestors no more. We have become worse than our fathers. Our own. Oh, oh, no verse look it says jeremiah chapter 16 and 12 and ye have done worse than your fathers for behold ye walk every one after the imagination of his evil heart that they may not hearken unto me so we were stubborn and we stubborn unto this day that's why the people a lot of our people are just going to be put to death man and they need to they refuse to listen Right, uh, so going on, wait, yeah. Revelations chapter 6 and 11. And white robes were given unto every one of them. This is in time of salvation. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet a little season, for a little season, until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. So you have fellow servants shall will be killed and they will go to the Yahweh Basham Yahashai but the ones that are already dead they will put on white uh, robes and the one that ones that are on the planet earth Yahweh Ratasa we we are well we're putting on the robes right now because it says knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time Revelation 7 and 13 and one of the elder answered saying unto me these are they which are arrayed in white wait, wait. What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And uh, whence came they? So the ones that are going to make it are going to have the white robes. 
and that may basically means well I'll get it over here it's here but yeah here Ephesians chapter 6 and 11 put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil now does that mean that we have a armor on and stuff like that like ISUPK no it actually means that we have the knowledge wisdom on the truth we have the truth and that's not what an, um, Adam was keeping here along with Eve and that's why they were naked and they sewed fig trees upon themselves with aprons and the word apron means armor basically clothing right so check this out Job chapter 29 verse 14 I put on righteousness and it clothed me my judgment was as a robe and a diadem and a diadem if you look up diadem and you click um, how you call that thing pictures it says a crown and what does the Heavenly Father say the crown of righteousness second Timothy chapter 4 and 8 it says henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day and not to me only but unto all them also that love his appearing so we're gonna get the crown of righteousness first we get in the spiritually it's in your mind and then we're gonna get it physically yeah first we're gonna get the spiritual um, armor which is clothed now yeah of course and we're trying to do the right thing you know, fuck Spike Lee but you know I'll mention this movie only the title trying to do the right thing that's what we're trying to do and he's going to fit us up with that armor and then physically later on we're going to get the real armor because the heavenly father is going to make us a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth Isaiah 41 and 15 behold I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth Thou shalt thresh the mountains, the governments, and beat them small, plus the people. We're gonna, and shall make the hills a shaft, the lesser government. We're going to make a shaft. I mean, we'll burn your ass. A husk or corn or other seed separated the, the, the th by th or threshing. Worthless things, rubbish. That's what we're going to do unto them. We're going to make them shaft. We're going to make them like this. We're going to blow their ass away. Um, Psalms 18 speaks about that that what King David is going to do he shall beat them small like the dust he shall beat them like how the wind blows upon the dust that's what we're going to do to them and um, yeah and we're going to get their armor too which is um, no weapon Isaiah chapter 54 Hey, 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 I don't want this translation. Isaiah chapter 54 and 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that, sh uh, that shall rise up. Wait a minute. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. It means we're going to sentence you. And we're going to sentence you with a strict, s strict, express, complete disapproval of censor sentence someone to a particular punishment especially death we rebuke you uh, uh, whatever all these things all these things that's what we're gonna do to you we're gonna condemn you this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord Yahweh and their righteousness is of me saith the Lord so we're not gonna make no mistakes when we condemn these people when we judge them because in that day we we gonna have we we are going to be armored up. We're gonna have just like the flesh and stuff like that. We're gonna be um, strong enough to put a dent in a tank. Strong enough to put a dent in a tank, but with the same hands, you're gonna be soft enough to touch a, bu uh, a breast, a titty, you know, a, a big titty, small titty, whatever, whatever you want, you know. So when I'm going back over here, 
Yeah. So on um Joshua twenty three and six. Be therefore very cur uh, courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses. So that's what we try. Okay. That ye turn not aside therefrom to the right hand or to the left. Meaning stick to what you have been taught, stick to what is being taught in the in the in the laws of Moses also and in the New Testament also. Right? Meaning on the, for example, what's in the New Testament on um If you, uh, what's it again? Mm. Yeah, he that he that live by he that live by the sword should die by the sword. So that's why you shouldn't be taking up arms trying to fight these devils. Just leave it and let the heavenly Father deal with it, because this is our punishment. It's embarrassing that we gotta live um, under these cave monkeys and these bitches talking shit, and you can't really like kill them. They have a big fucking mouth. These females are full of fucking snakely adultery shit, man. They're snakes. You got a lot of fucking faggots among our uh, females, too. A lot of lesbians and shit like that. Sucking on clit, licking on puss. You know? Carpet munches. You know, butch. Uh, butch bitches. Not bush bitches, but butch bitches. You know? So, you gotta watch out for bitches like that. And, um, yeah. If you think that you're going to get a bisexual chick and you're going to be with her, you're fucking wrong. Because they have what is called a perverse lust. They're going to go behind your back and have sex with another girl or just lick up on some puss puss and then come up on you and then lick up on your tongue tongue. And you kissing her. Meanwhile, you kissing another bitch pussy. And you know they don't keep the law, so it might be a bloody pussy. And you're still licking up on some bloody straight literally blood clot man yeah i know if i know a fucking heathen dude that did that shit man he said yeah on um he just takes a paper bag a sandwich bag both of them sucker i don't know how you call it in english but this one he just takes this and then he puts it up on the puss puss when she bleeding and and then he start licking that's what he said he does. Shit. Fucked up. And, uh, Jeremiah 42 and 21. And now, I have this day declared, I cut him off as soon as he said that shit. And I wasn't even, I didn't even know about the truth. So, there you have it. It's, it's just, it's just satanic. I can, I cannot handle a guy like that because here it is. I'm at your house and I'm drinking off your shit. Fuck you, you know. Um, Jeremiah 42 and 21. I'm not drinking out of the same uh, glass as you. Even if you wash it with bleach, I don't care. It's your soul. It's your spirit. It's filthy. Anyway, Jeremiah 42 and 21. And now, I have this day declared it unto you, but ye have not obeyed the voice of the Lord your power, your God, nor anything for the which he had sent me unto you. So, they didn't obey the voice of the Lord, so that's why they was naked. And also the thing about the flesh of my flesh, bone of my bone, it's talking about there was cousins of each other. Because there was men before uh, Adam and Eve, and even later on. Let me just get that real quick. I'll just get real, real, like, real quick. Genesis 1 and 20 It says uh, I'll start at Yeah 20 And the Most High said Let the waters bring forth Abundantly the moving creature That had life And fowl Which is birds That may fly above the earth In the open firmament And uh, I mean of heaven And God And the, and, uh, the powers created the uh, great whales And every living creature That moveth which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind, and the power saw that it was good. So, man is a creature, because it says in the book of, an, um, hmm, where should I get that? Let me get it here.
This is the Solomon chapter, I don't know, 16, verse 24. For the creature that served thee, who art the maker, increaseth his strength against the unrighteous for, his, for their punishment, and abated his strength for the benefit of such as put their trust in thee. So we're the creatures. Maybe that was a little bit hard, but then, uh, let me let me let me get another one. Second is six and uh, forty-seven. If this one doesn't is not easy, then um, I'll just go to Second Corinthians. That's the easiest uh, way to break it down. Second Esther chapter six, verse forty-seven. It says, "Upon the fifth day, thou hast said unto the seventh part." Part, where the waters were gathered, that it should bring forth living creatures, fowls and fishes, and it, and so it came to pass. For the dumb water, meaning the water is still, dumb is means unable to speak. For the dumb water, and without life, brought forth living things at the commandment of Yahweh, that all people might praise thy wondrous works. So we came out of the water. Right. Then didst thou ordain two living creatures, the one thou callest Enoch, which means a uh, wise man, and the other Leviathan. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me get the. Right. No, no, no. It's, it said learned man. Learned man. It's like I said wise man. It meant learned learned man. If you check out the meaning of the word Enoch, it's learned man. I almost had to go get my, my apocrypha because I, I wrote it down in there, the breakdown of the word Enoch, which means lear, which which means learned man. But uh, okay, this is the last one. Job 26 and 5. Dead things are formed from under the waters, and the inhabitants thereof. Yep. 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and 17. Second, wait a minute. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Yahushai, he is a new creature. Old things, meaning the old creature, old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So that means you're a creature. If you believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, you're a new creature. Basically, you're born again. So that is the way that you break down the fact that there were people before, uh, basically, Adam and Eve. But Adam and Eve was the chosen one. Adam line was the chosen line. So that's it. Uh, b basically, the point is this. There, there was not only two people upon the planet Earth. Because who did... Cain uh, have sex with and made children with the the women of the other nations, man. Because the Heavenly Father made, he said in Genesis 1 and 20, uh, and God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life. So we, we are creatures too. And we're moving around, right? So that's it. So I hope I broke it down good. I hope I didn't forget anything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.